It's so bright tonight. It's just like the calm before a storm. Isarinum wants war. Let him have his war. All he needs is a lie. A lie good enough so the other Jarls will believe in him. Is it true you have a plan? Perhaps. I may have something that'll just give a little push in the right direction. I suppose then that this will be the last I see of you for a while, Ferris. I will await you on the other side of the Impious War. The Imperious War, huh? Huh. I know. This will be one long night. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Oh, did I hit you? Oh no, you again. What do you want? Brilliant. Now that you're here, maybe you could answer a question for me. Na- Ugh. Seriously? Where can I find your master villain? Why should I tell anything to you, Noble? Or should I say, Dead-Eyed Noble? Don't think I don't recognize your power. I've heard a lot of rumors of the Black Wolf and the purple lightning you wield. Master Valam warned me about you, that you might try to look for him, but I will not let you pass. Yeah, yeah. If the other gods are passed were serious too, maybe I would have been a little bit frightened by your threat. However, I suggest you better start answering me quickly, or do I have to force out the answers? You nobles and your stupid conflicts and wars! I won't betray my master nor his secrets to the likes of you, no matter how threatening you may think you are. I won't let you go through here! Oh, here you say. So he's close by. <laughs> Losing the tongue. Okay, okay. As soon as I get the answers I need from him, I'll get you something to eat. How about a pheasant? Yeah, that doesn't sound good. For a mage master, you sure don't hide yourself very well. But you know why I'm here. You warned me about it after all. Villain? Ah, <gasps> uh, shameful, isn't it? It's kind of degrading how the old masters have fallen. <laughs> you do realize poofing your fur out like that makes you look more like a scared puppy? I've tracked him for five months. What makes you think you can just come in here and kill someone just like that? For that long? I wonder why. <gasps> no! So whom 
my Chiyube. You don't know who you're dealing with. Neither do you. You're not very clever, are you? <laughs> Blindly attacking an enemy you know nothing about, revealing your identity with your power, do you think your first-class magic will save you every time? You and I are a little alike there. We both use our powers to get what we want. I am nothing like you! Who are you? Why did you kill Willem? Masters of the Old Order no longer have a place amongst our kind. He accepted death with a smile on his face, happy that his secret died with him. I didn't expect many others to have heard of him, but... I wonder where perhaps you learn of Yarn and his research on such a taboo topic. Either way, you must have been very desperate to have come all the way up here. But here's my warning to you. Stay out of this, if you know what's best for you. Poke me with a stick again and I will make... Uh, I'm really, really not tasty! I'm so small! My mother says eating other wolves is bad and I'm really not good, so it's touching dead Raj. But you're not dead and you look so dead, but you weren't! I'm sorry! I'm really small, by the way, please don't eat me! I'll make... Huh? Ah! Oh, damn it! You're not supposed to say bad words! My mother says it brings bad luck. Right. Have you been watching me? Oh, uh, was... was that rude of me? Poking me with a stick was... Do, do you normally do that? No, but I didn't want to touch a dead Raj with my paw. Were you swimming? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Huh. That's weird. I think it's too cold to go swimming. Oh, my name is Fall. What's yours? Vati. Vati? Hmm, that's a weird name. Right. What's the quickest way to a lane? That way, but 
I wouldn't go there if I was you. But the town is bad. Ha, <laughs> I'll manage. You gotta be bad to deal with bad. See? You said the bad word, and your paw got all twisted. <sighs> it's no good. Hmm. My mother says that if I fall and get a bruise, that I should go to the shrine where she is. And that makes me feel better. Your mother is a healer? Mm hmm She can make your paw good again. She's always caring for others. I'll take you to her. Not that I'll be any better standing around staring at it. <sighs> Fine. We can go visit her, but I have to make a stop first. <laughs> Somewhere. It's an ancient hearthstone. It was used before Kaedrix took over. You should know this. Nobody comes to these places anymore. Ghosts do? <sighs> I hate ghosts. My mother told me to be wary of them. And, and she showed me how to chase them away. Oh, let me guess. With sticks. <laughs> of course not. You have to make yourself look... Really scurry! Ah! <laughs> See? Why do you look funny? Um, uh, hey! Where are you going? It's best to wait here. I'll be right back. I understand. I have been good. I'm telling you, that earthquake this morning and the strange lightning, it's going to weaken the dam. It's only a matter of time now. <sighs> the last thing we need is a flood. These damn witches must be coming back. Keep this under wraps, but there's been sightings of snow wolves lurking about too. They must be plotting an invasion. Did you hear the Prince of Hymir broke his neck in a terrible accident a few days ago? You look awful. Oh, I feel great. You're not going to throw me out, are you? I'll have to see about that. I'm supposed to keep the town safe from wolves like you that bring trouble. I don't feel like making another excuse for you again. I'll be nice. I think. Right. Valem couldn't help you? No. What brings you back here? I don't plan to stay for long. This place is too happy for me. Riston mentioned someone last night. 
a mutual friend I haven't seen in a long time. I need to ask Kristen where he met him. Riston is gone. He received a letter and left in a hurry. He told me to let you know if you decide to show up here again looking for him. Oh, son, just burn me now. He didn't happen to say where he was going. He said something about the Citadel, so I wouldn't expect the news to be any good. The Citadel? Why of all places must he go there? The Citadel lies in the heart of Lorgred. It's guarded by the Misbels and the Kaedric. They'll kill me on sight. Oh, I wonder why. Now what's that supposed to mean? I swear, Vati. Sometimes, I don't think you think further than your nose. That does not sound like me at all. You must be confused. <sighs> I'm starting to think I should have thrown you out. I, I am behaving right now, aren't I? For now. Oh, come on. A charming guy like me. Of course I have friends and places. You owed me a favor after all. Which has been repaid. Now, you are just testing my patience. <sighs> Who is this friend of yours that you want me to meet anyway? Someone who might know something about Villain's research. And about doing that. It's a dangerous path, Vati. You're sacrificing everything just for a rumor. I'm aware of that. But I've already come this far. Too far to give up now. <laughs> so it looks like I'll be lost in the heart of Lortex soon, though. Idiot. There is... Actually, one more thing you can help me with. You don't happen to know someone who can help with this, do you? That's her. That's her? <laughs> she looks like a gentle gust of wind can tip her over. You don't have anyone else? She's the only herbalist we got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you say so. I'm going to end you for this. Evening, Lady Triad. I hope the sun warms your bones. I am busy. It shouldn't take long. No checks needed. He looks awful. Hey, excuse me. Yes, he does. We both can agree on that. But it's my duty as a guard to make sure injured wolves are at least seen by a herbalist. And everyone knows you're the best there is. And the only one. <sighs> Sore. If only you were good at your job, I wouldn't have to be fixing up all these youngsters these days. <laughs> Sit and show me your paw. This one is too small for his age. Scrawny, skinny, too long claws, and terrible posture. Says who? I thought we were here to talk about the paw. Yes, that one is terrible too. <sighs> well, you're not so much for helping. <laughs> You asked for a seeing, not a catering. I can't do anything for a misshapen paw. Oh, this should stun the pain temporarily until you reach the citadel for a proper healer. Did you know that you got... a... Uh, fur... a uh, right... Thanks.
I would not recommend her to anyone. She's the only healer we have in town. Her entire family left a long time ago, but she didn't. She's as stubborn as a goat about staying here. And looks like one too. What about that little kid's mother? What kid? I met a kid by the river. She mentioned her mother was a healer. Some years ago, this town was overrun by witches. They bewitched the only healer and used the town for dark rituals and spells under the disguise of medicine, experimenting on them. During that time, a terrible plague swept through our town, killing the weak and all of the pups. But there was some that survived, thrived, and never became ill. The witches, kids. What? The witches disappeared when they were found out, but things never really returned to normal after that. But Vati, the wolves here are unforgiving and the spite runs deep. Rumors spread that the town is cursed because of them. So that kid I met... was most likely one of them.